What's up? Good morning, guys. Another episode out here with Flying Fish. Today we're fishing out of Pokai Bay out on Oahu's west side. I left the house at 2.30 uh, this morning to make the hour drive out here for a 4 a.m. launch. Uh, with the purpose of trying to find some akule or goggle eyes. Uh, ended up finding them in 20 feet of water. I uh, picked up four, four of those ranging from about five, five inches to about 11 inches. After that, we went out looking for some apelu. I ended up catching four apelu in 130 to 150 feet of water. All right, trolling out here towards uh, Miley Point. I just crossed over a big school of fish. I had some hits on my bait strip, uh, but they stole the strip itself. So we're gonna dump a live bait in the water now. Okay, one of our goggle eyes here. Good looking bait. Hook something up on the jig. It's not very big, <laughs> but it's something. Really? <laughs> Why did you bite that? I just ran across a monster bait ball and hooked up here. Feels like I got either a giant one or a couple small ones. Gigantic ones. <laughs> I call that a jumbo size of Palu. Like I don't know how big that hatch is, but it's about an inch longer than it. All right, hooked up here in 250 feet of water. And I think it's an aha. Which is super annoying. But, you know what? Because this, we didn't get skunked. So, there's a bright side to that one. It is an aha, it's a lot bigger than the other ahas I've caught lately.
is that? Oh, didn't get skunk, didn't get the aha last bait. <laughs> oh, that's blue and green, that's a mahi. Oh, my wife's gonna be so happy. So we hooked up, up out in 250 feet. It looks like a pretty big fish. Still got, still got quite a bit of juice. <laughs> Definitely the biggest mahi mahi I've ever got.
big time. Yeah. What a fish. Look at that. What? What a monster. That's a big mahi mahi. <laughs> Man, that is big. First trip with the new fish bag. Let's uh, put it to good use. This mahi is so big it wouldn't even have, have fit in my last fish bag. So. bag is huge though. <laughs> well it's not pretty but we managed to get the fish bag back on there. Uh, it looks like I can still put my rudder up, so I dropped a point where I hooked up into the into that mahi mahi. So we'll go back and edit it, and then just change the name of it uh, to mahi mahi. Eventually, we'll probably see some kind of trend. Um, this one I hooked into that in 258 feet. It came down to the final minutes and the final bait, but. Uh, made it happen so really happy <laughs> but uh, start off the morning at 2 30 driving from my house to get out here to pokai bay um, and then a four o'clock launch to go out and catch some akule uh, also known as goggle eyes uh, shout out to gregory brown thanks bro uh show me how to catch those akule on the way out to the the first spot i trolled and i kept getting little bites I'm pretty sure it was just ahas. They ended up stealing my bait strips, uh, both of them. And then made it all the way out towards Miley Point and then drifted along the ledge there. No luck. Uh, the only thing being caught otherwise seemed to be sharks, um, barracuda, and aha. Slowly we started making our way back, uh, but at this point I still hadn't gotten a single bite. And uh, after a while I was just trying to get rid of baits give them to mother give them to other people and then uh, while i was trolling along a a palu it got something grabbed it ran with it the hook turned and then i lost the fish after uh after that i went to and that was in about 150 feet of water so i, I figured that there was some more action coming around so i decided to head out to the deeper water with my last bait and then uh I ended up bridling the Akule, the last bait, uh, through the nose uh, with a little rubber band and that seemed to do the trick when the, the initial run was about probably eight or nine seconds and then it totally went dead. Uh, it stopped killing drag, I didn't feel any weight in the line, so I just kicked the reel back out of gear and just waited, uh, you know, just praying for it to pick it back up and either it still had it and it just swam towards me but after that it just started taking off uh you know it was peeling drag and then when it goes up kind of that other octave 
that means it's really kicking into gear to some away and that's when I kick the reel back into gear, set the hook and the splash on the water. I was almost certain that it was an aha, pretty bummed, but then turned out to be uh, a mahi. Today the weather was, was pretty good overall. The wind not over 15 knots and uh, but the current was about almost two knots uh, at its maximum so going the distance all the way down to Miley Point from the launch spot that was just 2.5 miles straight line distance so chances are went in the neighborhood of six to seven miles. If you guys enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from the Flying Fish YouTube channel subscribe.